Okay, in this video we're going to start looking at fractions. So we're going to start off just with a very basic uh, word problem. So, six people take a test, four people pass the test, and two people fail. What fraction passed the test? So, this is a very basic example of how fractions can be used. And as a teacher, um, like in many areas of expertise, um, we look at fractions of this kind of nature all the time, every year, because we look at our results and we have to analyse our results. And effectively, we then have to look at fractions, which we can then turn into percentages, which we then have to compare with national averages. So, fractions for a teacher, whether you be a math teacher or not, are going to be part of your daily routine. So things like this we need to be able to do fairly well. So the idea is that if we're looking at how many passed the test, four of them passed out of a possible six. So what you want is the four people out of the six to be written as a fraction in this way. So the actual people who passed on the top and those, well, how many actually took the test, so the total, on the bottom. So 4 out of the 6. This can be represented graphically, so you can represent it in many different kind of ways with shapes. So we could split this up. I haven't done that very, very well. Let's try that again. One, two, three, like that. And then draw lines. So then we can say that we've got four out of the six. So from the diagram, you might then be able to spot, okay, well, if instead I had split this up into threes, then you can see that four sixths covers exactly the same area as two out of three. So in actual fact, two out of three is an equivalent fraction to four sixths. And so what this is going to lead into is what we mean by an equivalent fraction and how we can identify when two fractions are equivalent. And this then leads into simplifying, cancelling down and everything else. So you need to be able to turn a word problem into a fraction. You also need to be able to shade a shape given on how many um, parts you need to shade to represent the fraction correctly. 